Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and installing the OCZ Vertex 3. This is the 6GB per second, 120GB SSD from OCZ. Uh, so I'm going to be installing this with the Max Upgrade uh, 2.5 to 3.5 hard drive bay for the Mac Pro. Uh, so unboxing is fairly simple, we just got to peel off that plastic, and I actually already unboxed the hard drive bay. There's not too much to that, uh, it has a few things which I'll go over later, and uh, that's what's going to allow me to go ahead and install this in my Mac Pro easily. So you can see that this has quite the specs. It comes in at, it's supposed to come in at around 500 megabytes per second, read and write. And uh, it's, of course, an SSD, so it's very, very fast. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and peel into this plastic. It actually comes with a 2.5 to 3.5 uh, converter. However, I will not be using this, uh, and that is because I have the uh, hard drive bay, and I only had one hard drive bay with my Mac Pro when I got it. Uh, so I had to go ahead and get a hard drive bay, and that's the slot for the Mac Pro. Uh, so I had to go get one, and this one's specially modified for a 2.5 inch drive. So here's the uh, initial uh, enclosure. You see that we have the SSD, we have a sticker, which is actually really, really cool, and I like how they have that to their products. Now we also have an instruction manual, which we will not use, and then we have the SSD itself, and it's in an anti-static uh, enclosure. So you can see that this is in fact uh, sealed, so we'll just put that off to the side. We have some screws right here, which are just some simple mounting uh, screws. Uh, sometimes you need them, sometimes you don't. Uh, these are specifically for the 2.5 to 3.5 inch converter, which is on the back right here. Uh, so it actually looks fairly nice and it's fairly easy to mount to any PC. Uh, so this SSD is not just for Macs, it's for PCs. And uh, specifically, you can just mount this to any tower, and I could even mount that to my Mac Pro uh, hard drive. Bay. Uh, it's just nice that it gives you the option and I actually went ahead and got the Max Upgrades uh, hard drive sled. Just a quick comparison to a standard hard drive. This is a moving drive, that means that it has disk drives, and then you have the actual SSD. So they're the same size, they're the 2.5 inch form factor. All SSDs come in that form factor, and you can see that it's very similar, uh, but there actually is a notable weight difference. Uh, so if this isn't a laptop, you may notice a difference if you have a 70, 750 gigabyte, 7200 RPM drive, you might notice a difference to an SSD. Now this is the Max Upgrade Sled. I'll be doing a full review of this. And it's quite interesting that it actually has a functioning uh, kind of heat sink, that black part that go ahead and attaches to your SSD. So you can see that I have already mounted this. It's fairly simple. Uh, there's just four mounting screws, and uh, it's very easy to align, actually. Now to install the SSD. So here we have my Mac Pro. Simple. We're just going to go ahead and slide off the back, and then we got this case. And then we put that off to the side. And then you can see that we have my hard drive bay, my graphics cards, and all that. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and slide this in. So it's fairly simple. You just slide it into a drive bay. You can see that this is just a standard 3.5 inch drive. And uh, you can see that. We'll put it back into one. And uh, it's very simple to go ahead and install these. Uh, you won't need too much uh, instructions for this. So you just simply slide it in make sure it's securely in. So I actually decided to go ahead and swap the, the SSD into the first bay. Usually I like the primary booting drive in the first bay, but just make sure that this is uh, fully snug in and uh, then you shouldn't have any problems. Now for the moment of truth, go ahead and turn the power on and wait for boot up. So first boot, you want to go ahead and format this so you can do this through disk utility. And then I went ahead and installed Mountain Lion onto this. So it's very simple. And you see that we're getting pretty decent speeds. Keep in mind that this is SATA 2. The Mac Pro only supports SATA 2. This SSD will perform much faster on a SATA 3 connection, but for right now, it runs great, and it's actually nice uh, if you actually put two of these into RAID 0, you will get the same speed as SATA 3. But for now, this SSD is going to work perfectly. Uh, it's very fast, gets very fast boot up times, and actually cuts rendering time in half. So it's very nice to use this for uh, application opening, your main boot drive, and then your scratch disk for rendering video. Uh, so I definitely suggest picking up an SSD if you do uh, very intensive task or if you just want a nice speed bump on an older machine or just a machine that you would like to be faster uh, so guys as always rate comment and subscribe look forward to the full review of the max upgrade uh, drive sled for the mac pro and then i will post a review for this ssd i have reviewed several ssds in the past including the macbook pro retina the macbook air and i've also used owc and another occ drive so guys as always rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye Oh, <laughs>